and it's just easy. Well, times can be tough. Hello, hello, hello! It's Chris again with Multi Tank Addiction, back again on another video for you where we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I know I am because I'm in the fish room. That's right. I wanted to do something special today and just kind of focus on one fish. Kind of a, let's, let's call it a in-depth look, if you will, on a specific fish in the fish room. My personal favorite, the Rock Kill Severum. But my second favorite would be the Golden Severum, and I happen to have a Rock Keel and a Golden Severum that have paired up and are breeding in a 75 gallon aquarium. So let's go ahead and check them out. All right, the Red Shoulder or Rock Keel Severum is a very popular choice as it's one of the most peaceful, beautiful, and larger cichlids in the hobby and generally does not bother their tank mates. They are known to be semi-aggressive, but not known to t attack without reason. Now, the rock keel are native to lakes and tributaries of the Amazon Basin in South America, though not the true mouth-brooding severum species, which is the hero severus. The red shoulder severum are very attractive and will surprisingly grow larger than their mouth-brooding relatives. Not to mention their stunning red coloration shown on their head, shoulders, and on their bellies and pelvic fins. These Severum also have bright red eyes and beautiful gray bodies with faint vertical bands. The males have extended anal, dorsal, and pelvic fins, as well as worm-like markings on their faces. The rest of the fish's body closely resembles that of the green Severum due to their popularity and success in breeding, the red shoulder severum is always highly sought after at both the local retailer and online vendors. Now these fish get anywhere between 8 and 10 inches long. They are a carnivore. They do not like plants. So if you put plants in your tank, expect them to get destroyed. That is why I have no plants in this tank. <laughs> They do prefer a temperature range of 73 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and a KH of 4 to 5 with a pH of 6 to 6.5. My tank that they're breeding in right now is 7.0, so it's neutral. They are, like I said, originally from the Amazon, northern South America, and yeah. So you'll see here that there's a couple really bright white spots on that pot and those would be the fungus over eggs but i do have a clutch of eggs my female is doing a fabulous job as you can see she's constantly fanning it and when she's not fanning it the male rock keel comes over and starts fanning the eggs as well they're trying their hardest to get some viable fry and to be honest, I don't know why they haven't gotten fries since they moved into this tank. Um, I pulled them out of the 300 gallon and they laid eggs on that pot in the 300 gallon and came out to be viable fry. But then I had to move the tank and I decided to move them into this the 75 so that they could breed in solitude and breed they do. About once every week to week and a half they have a clutch of anywhere between um, 100 to 300 eggs on that pot. So I'm considering getting one of those wonderful uh, angelfish breeding, like the, either the cone or the, the flat piece of plastic or glass, what have you, uh, so that they can breed on that. Because generally speaking, you get... Uh, you get these fungus over eggs from crevices in the pot. The pot does this terrible thing for it. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch these wonderful fish in action for a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and close out the video. Just want to say thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe, the notification bell and share this video with your friends if you think they will like it.
All right, that is my breeding pair of Severum, the Rock Kill and the Golden Severum. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't forget, guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and share, share, share. And I will talk to you next time.